In this example, we're going to use Thermoflow software to analyze a refrigeration system. We will do this simply by dragging the parts from the library to the canvas and connect them, then choose the working fluid from the entire library of NISD fluids or from your own user-defined fluids, enter some known conditions, and press Run. Here, we have a two-stage refrigerator that operates between the pressure limits of 0.14 and 0.8 megapascals. The working fluid is refrigerant 134A. The refrigerant leaves the condenser as a saturated liquid, and then it is throttled to a flash chamber that is operating at an intermediate pressure of 0.32 megapascal. The vapor is extracted from this chamber, is mixed with the refrigerant leaving the low pressure compressor, and then the combined flow is compressed in the high pressure compressor to the condenser pressure of 0.8 megapascal. The liquid leaving the flash chamber is throttled to the evaporator pressure. It cools the refrigerated space as it vaporizes in the evaporator. Assuming the refrigerant leaving the evaporator is a saturated vapor and no losses in the compressors and connecting pipes, we want to determine per unit mass of the refrigerant the mass fraction of the vapor leaving the flash chamber the amount of heat removed from the refrigerated space and the compressor work and coefficient of performance of the cycle. First we start Thermoflow and then click on create model, give it a name like ref2 stage for two stage refrigerator, click on save and we choose thermodynamics Now we pick a compressor, place it on the canvas, then we need a condenser and a valve. We place the valve next to the condenser to bring the pressure down to the flash chamber pressure. And you can line things up to make them look better. And we'll take another valve to bring the pressure down to the low pressure compressor. And now we need an evaporator. Then a compressor for a low pressure compressor. And now we need a mixer. We pick a mixer from the component list and place it on the canvas. Uh, okay, let's just move things around a little bit to line them up better. Now all we have to do is to get the outlet of one and connect it to the in inlet of the next component to complete the cycle. And here, connect the compressor compressor goes to the mixer and the mixes with the flash chamber. Okay, now we can move things a little bit around to line them up better. So this completes the cycle. So now we need to choose a fluid. Right click, set fluid. Double click on that. Default fluid is water. We need a refrigerant. So we go to the list of refrigerants and scroll down and let's pick R134A. Click on select fluid, fluid and here we have fluid set. Now we need to do analysis per kilogram so we go choose mass flow rate and set that to one kilogram per second and put these out of the way Now let's set the pressure levels. The lowest pressure going to the compressor, set that at, so we choose the pressure, double click on it, set it at 0 0.14 megapascal, apply.
and now we set the high pressure right click and uh, double click on the pressure icon we set that 0.8 megapascal and we'll apply that there now we can move the pressure out of the way so we can see the labels more clearly and the intermediate pressure is at the flash chamber it can be set any any of the places so we choose it at the inlet set that 0.32 megapascal and set and press apply okay so we have now set all the pressures in the system now assuming this is the ideal system we know that refrigerant coming out of the condenser is saturated liquid so we set the quality to zero that's the default value so we don't have to do anything there and leaving the evaporator go into the condenser we have saturated vapor so we similarly pick quality double click and we set the value to one that completes the circuit we're ready to analyze now just let's double click on some of the components you can see that for ideal compressor we have no heat loss zero percent I mean hundred percent efficiency and uh, we don't need to change anything similarly you look at the condenser uh, we don't need to set any of these values if you wanted to sh uh, calculate the losses you could but we're doing an ideal cycle press on run and uh, it's done we can press yes to view the results and that shows the temperature uh, you can change the results display to any uh, anything you like you choose enthalpy temperature whatever if you right click on any component you can get the detailed result of that component so here's the high pressure compressor we have the work which is equal to the isentropic work and there we go to see the detailed results we can open the out file and view the results from there uh, here the results are extracted and shown here EPs stand for endpoints or junctions between uh, various components so you can see the pressure temperature specific volume internal energy enthalpy entropy quality and mass flow rate and volumetric flow rate here displayed at all of these locations to view the component results you can move down in the out file to the components section now here we are looking at the detailed results of the components uh, we have two compressors a condenser an evaporator a mixing chamber a flash chamber and two valves uh, if you look at the results of the compressor we can see the power in is displayed which is the same as the isentropic power because we chose to have an efficiency of 100 percent kinetic energy and potential energy changes are not calculated because we chose to neglect them same in the condenser you can see the heat loss in the condenser is calculated uh, the minor losses and all the other losses are not available because again we chose to not include those in the analysis in the evaporator section you can see the heat into the evaporator is calculated which is the same as the amount of heat removed from the refrigerated space and similarly the other components at the bottom you can see that the COP or coefficients of performance is automatically cal calculated by the software it recognizes this is a refrigeration system so it calculates COP and you can see for a refrigerator which we are interested in is 4.4753 and if this same problem was solved as a heat pump the COP would be 5.4753 so this completes this exercise thanks for your attention